Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. I fucking, I love that hat, but I can't wear it with the mic set. So I fucking hammered it up and I'll hang it up there. All right, so we're coming near the end of summer in the next couple months here and we're moving into hunting season and I've been procrastinating on shooting my bow and keeping up my uh, my reps on that and that's super important. So lately I've been really trying to buckle down and get that in and I've got some good groups and i got to work on little tweaks on, on getting it dialed right in. But uh, today I'm going to talk about some of the pack setups I have and maybe even kind of want to think about getting for the season here uh so i use all eberly stock gear so far that's what i've got that's what i've i i like so let's just kind of dive right in into what i got so the very first bag i ever got just so everybody knows disclaimer i'm reading all the information off the eberly stock web page i got it here on my phone that's where i'm getting my information from straight from the page anything i'm going to say about it you can find right there i'll leave a link in the description okay so about just before i met my wife or not matter but just before when i started dating her i think just before that hmm a few months before i started dating her or a year before oh, i can't remember anyways my brother got me uh, a pack for my birthday, a really good hunting pack from Eberly Stock. He got me the uh, the J34 Just One pack, and I've got that bad boy right here. That's this one right here, and it's in the uh, what? What do they call this camo? I think they call it the Mirage. Let's just figure that out. Uh, in the do 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 do. What's this? Yep, so I think this camo is, yeah, the Mirage, the color Mirage. And if you look at it, it kind of is like not in focus. The It's a bunch of foliage and, and wildlife. Yeah, just slightly out of focus and, and good different uh, variations of greens and yellows. Got some hair into it. I really like this pack. I'm really happy he got me this pack. It uh, has a gun scabbard in it. It's got... Uh, a top pocket here. It's got these compression straps around. It's got this middle strap right here. It's got a compartment up here. And it's got one on both sides. It's got some fabric in the middle. It's got the webbing down here to add some stuff on. You open this up. That's a pretty big section to carry a lot of stuff. I carry like my uh, first aid kit and uh, any maybe some, some hunting calls and some snacks and stuff I would I would put in there. It opens up. You know, you got some compression straps here. You can put them either this way or over. I put them over. You've got a pocket here, a pocket here on the one side. So you got these two front pockets that look like they can hold, uh, you know, it holds a pretty long thing. You could put maybe some glass in there, scope, or, and um, you got your camo pack holder there on the left side. It's got a little exit. Put your camo pack in there. Sits. So it's a bit of a tight fit, but it. I haven't had a problem with it. On the other side, where well, that would be because of the gun scabbard. There's no pocket there, and I think. Or oh, on the left side, still uh, there's a lower pocket too. Uh, put some small stuff in there if you want. It. Uh, it goes fairly deep, just underneath the bladder, and it's a good size. Probably hold up some snacks or water bottles or maybe a, a knife or, or something. So you open it up and I'm behind the two front pockets. There's more sliding pockets right here. So in the front, so you got four pockets right in the front. And then you've got these side zips that open up into big side pouches right there. You can fill that up with some gear on either side with the waterproof zippers. That can hold a lot of space. That's a lot of pockets right there in the front. And then you've got the zipper down the middle, which opens this bag up. And it expands it. It's got this meshing here, and you can buy a panel to put in here into the into the center. You got the so the center unzips, it opens up. You've got a mesh that opens up into the inside of the bag. So if you put meat or whatever in here, it's got air to breathe through. You can buy a panel in here if you want to leave this open but not have the the ventilation of the netting here. You can 
by an orange panel or the camo panel that fits. So the top, it's a top entry. You pull the compression strap there, and on the inside, it's a big hole. You stack your meat in there. You, uh, this is a fairly good day pack in this form. This is a pretty sweet pack all on its own like that. I'm pretty happy with this. The gun scabbard is a beauty. I don't even fight with, or I don't even hunt with a rifle. Fight with a rifle. I don't hunt with a rifle. I uh, I use a bow, but I love having the scabbard on the back. So the, you pull it out through the bottom there. You know, you got a pretty decent looking bag there. Holds a lot of room. Whoa. So guys, getting some static. There we go. That's a little bit better. So let me move some of this shit around. Shut up. I had some static. You guys probably didn't hear it, but I could hear it in my ears. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, that's how that bag looks, the just one pack. Set that here, he can be my partner right now. Maybe I'll zip it back up. And, uh, this pack is, is, got tons of reviews online. It's a good pack, I'm real happy with it, and I've used it a few times for a few different things. I like the camo. I like the quality of the bag, the strong materials. It's got lots of webbing to connect other bags. And if you go on the Eberly Stock page, they've got lots of add-ons for all their packs. You can pretty much build these guys up. On the back of all their bags, they've got really good, these 3D uh, compressions on the straps and the spine. The spine is adjustable right here. Uh, it comes up and down and there's uh, I believe in this pack There's a metal rod in here that you can form to the shape of your back if you pull it out or you want to It's got this big thick lower back rest where the belt is and the belt slides through there You can take this out if you want leave it in however you want. It's pretty awesome the the back support on this system I really really like that uh, the, the the back support for these bags they've really uh, nailed that down for me anyways I believe that they have now, so let's get into what they say about this on their webpage, okay? Let's see some of the the statistics or whatever. Bump, 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 bump. Where do we got these uh, packs, specs, and features? Okay, compressed pack volume. That's like this, I believe, is 19 cubic inches or 1900 cubic inches. Expanded pack volume, that's what I showed when it's unzipped and opened all the way from the center. That is 42 cubic inches. Scabbard is 400 cubic inches uh, for your rifle. Uh, the total volume, 4,600 cubic inches. The weight is 7 pounds, 8 ounces, and... So, you know, it's not necessarily, it's not super light, not super heavy. It's right in between, more towards the lighter area. And really, like, I don't notice the weight on my on my back. That's seven pounds. You know, the material that this pack is made out of and, and how heavy duty and hardy it is, I'd take the seven pounds. Uh, dimensions, uh, compressed 25 inches high by 11 inches wide, six inches deep. The scabbard dimensions, 34 inches long, 7 inches wide, 3 inches deep with a 20 inch circumference opening. So that's the top. Uh, so there's some of the features. They add some add-ons and, and other things on here. What do we got on the web page here? Just how to size the pack for you. So there's an idea of what this pack looks like now you can add what do I got it so this here is the what do we got going on here just give me a sec let me find this uh everything's stuck Drive it. Stock mainframe, just one. All right. Okay. So this is the Spike Duffel. I got this as well with this pack. 
It's just a duffel bag, same camo, same build quality. It's pretty big. I think this adds to some of the square inches in there. I'm not quite sure exactly. Uh, the volume of this is 24 cubic inches. So, uh, where does it say some of the dimensions? 22 inches high, uh, 13 inches wide, 9 inches deep, 2,400 cubic inches. This duffel matches up with a lot of stuff. So when I first got it, I got it with this pack as a unit. What it does is that you open up your pack. If you don't have a panel and you have the duffel, or you're going for longer backpack hikes or whatever, camping, is that this duffel will zip onto this pack in this location and cover that up and then you can add an additional storage space here you can either put the meat in this put the meat in that put your gear in this vice versa it's a pretty uh pretty durable setup pretty pretty um capable of packing a lot of of gear with the duffel and the open pack so that's kind of that setup right there and I've, I've used that, and I'm pretty happy with it. I've used it camping, hunting, and I've even used it for photog photography where I stick my big camera on its tripod in the gun scabbard out in the bush, and I really like that. It's got good spots for webbing. I, I've got no complaints about this this bag. I, I have the rain cover uh, for it too, so this is a pretty good water-resistant material but not waterproof. You add the rain cover to it, your stuff stays pretty dry. I haven't had a single problem with it. And I live on Vancouver Island like you guys if you're watching from Vancouver Island or if you've watched my other podcast, you know I'm from Vancouver Island. It is wet here. We get a lot of rain. So I'm pretty happy with this pack right there just on its own. But, you know, I got married and I had a wife got a wife and I wanted her to have a pack and and come out with us so we got her the what we get do 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 so we got this pack here we got the F1 mainframe and we doubled that up with the, the transfer pack so we're going to talk about the mainframe right here I'm going to pull it out here's the mainframe it's a nice good solid L frame pack it's uh, got a good metal frame or aluminum framing. It's got a handle on the pack. It's got the same back 3D uh, padding on the back here. And it's breathable material with this netting over the, the foam. Same material built out of this as the last bag. The same fabric and everything. And I also have the same Mirage uh, camo with the, the out-of-focus foliage that's mixed in with each other. And what you can do with this bag, bag here is you can... You can match this one up with lots. This is one of the most customizable pieces. As much as I love the just for one pack, uh, if you're going to start out with Eberly, I think you need to start out with this frame here, the F1 mainframe. There's two different sizes. I'm not quite sure what size this is. This is the smaller size. I think there's one bigger. It's, uh, it's a pretty durable frame it feels comfortable i love having the l frame the little seat right here to help carry like if you get to get any any animals or whatever what you can do is you take the the pack and you separate it you can slide the meat in between and then the pack also has the zippers so if any of the packs have the zippers that match this from eberly stock you can attach it there's bat wings there's a whole bunch of stuff but not only that but if your pack does not compress or, or i mean does not zip to this frame you can use these straps to compress it down to it to for it to hold it down really this pack this l frame in my opinion can hold any of the any of the the gear that they want that as long as it fits within the frame right so let's uh let's read a little bit on this one here okay let's see if i can find the specs here let's just read the the description the F1 mainframe represents what is arguably the greatest invention in modern pack making, the holy grail of great mo module pack systems. But unlike any other pack system with this load-bearing workhorse as a base, you can build a true ultralight pack simply by adding one of our J2DB dry bags. We're going to talk about those because that's something I'd like to get. <clears throat> The F1 is one of the primary base platforms for the EMOD, that stands for the Eberly Stock Module System. 
and it works with an ever-growing number of com complementary accessories. Add components of your choice and the mainframe can function as a freight pack, day pack, or all-around utility pack for hunting. It transforms to a meat hauler within seconds. Yep. They have uh, different recommendations and setups for that. I'm not going to get into that. Go to the webpage and you can read that. We can go down to some of these, uh, these, these specs here. Okay. It says it's an Intex 2... Two aluminum frame zipper attachment points, which is right here, uh, compatible with our duffel dry bag and more. So I've got the duffel. Full Molly webbing, matrix covered main panel and to attach scabbard, pouches, etc. So they're talking about these webbings here just on the back. You could just even take the frame, add some pockets or packs, stuff like that, just right to the webbing. It's pretty sweet that I'm you know, they added that. I like that. Uh, th I like webbing on uh, an extra spots. Even if it's in a location that you think you're not going to use, you never know what the situation I rather have it not need it than need it not have it. So the more webbing the better. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, three bolt in her Horizontal compression straps for securing your gear. One, two, three, going across. That's them. Right there on either side. So they have the compression straps on left and right, and they connect around the bag for anyone who's just listening and can't really see what I'm talking about. Uh, where are we? Adjustable ladder harness, which is the back. That's what they call this adjustable ladder harness. is the same in the last pack. There's a thing in here. It adjusts up and down for each of the... They have these parts that are like webbing, so they have a, a section where the frame can adjust to your shoulders so that the pack fits you correctly. That's important to have because you want your pack to fit you. Uh, and a lifetime manufacturer warranty, and you can't beat that. So the tall version is 3.5 inches taller than the regular size, which uh, let's go to the ra regular product info this is the regular i think weight 4.5 4 pounds 5 ounces dimensions 26 inches high 11 inches wide it comes in at 4 pounds 8 ounces that's really light so that's a light pack and then if you add a whole bunch of stuff onto this pack you know you've got yourself a pretty good system now i'm going to show you first okay so we'll leave that out there for anyone watching, they can see, and I'm gonna jump into what we've got going on in this uh, for the uh, what do we got? The transfer pack. Okay, so here we got the transfer pack. Okay, this pack looks just like a backpack. It's got just the straps here, this right now, but you can add the hip strap right through here. The, I can take the hip strap off any one of my bags, add it to this. It's got the uh, a, a little adjustable spot right there, or you can clip this down over top. It's got this. It's got a uh, the front top part pocket, which holds a lot of gear, and it's got webbing on it. And then it's got a bottom folding section, which you can hold gear or helps compress gear against it. It's got one big uh, compression strap going around the middle. This is also in the Mirage camo. It's got more compressions holding the top down for gear. When you open that and undo those compression stops, it has a compartment down the center. It has a top open, and it opens in the center. So you can access it right if you lay it flat. You can a access it like it's a duffel bag. It's got uh, two uh, water bladders. You can put a water bladder on either side of this pack. I really love that. On either side here, there's a pack that holds. It's got... You can put your water in there, and then the other side, you're not carrying any water. You can put some gear in there. So, And then it's got a little containers for water bottles if you have them, or extra gear on the side if you want easy access to the, some of that gear. Now, this is where things get interesting for this pack, and, it, and we'll show you how acceptable or how adaptable this is. So I'm going to compress this down again real quick. Whoop. It's just taking me a minute. I'm just doing up all the compression straps again the way I do it. I do these these double ones that go down at one time, and then I do the cross one if I can find it here. I've got it. 
all tangled up. There we go. <laughs> Going around the cross, and I may change it depending when the gear when the, the bag is full. I'll put this under the top straps. So okay, let's read up on that that pack right there. I should have had hooks put up here so I could have hung them, but maybe I'll do another video and we'll we'll get a better view. But let's look at this. So the volume of this pack is 23 cubic inches. Let's see. I'm not going to go into their little description. Let's go, let's go to pack specs and features. Okay. Side compartment straps. When combined with the main frame pack, these straps will compress and hold quarters, duffels, and other gear you need to carry. Long side pockets big enough to hold three liter hydration systems and spotting scopes. Front compression straps. Uh, weight is four pounds four ounces. Total volume 23 cubic inches. Dimensions 32 inches uh, 22 inches high by 11 inches wide and I think that must be wide by seven inches I'm not sure that, that so it's 22 high by 11 high so it must be seven deep I don't think that's right uh all right well I don't really it doesn't really explain the seven and I'm drawing a blank on what it could be it must be deep I'm just being a dummy I guess anyway so what we're gonna do now is I'm actually gonna add so anybody who's watching this I'm going to add this pack together so on the back of the bag the transfer pack there are zippers right here one two zippers okay and they connect to the zippers on the L frame here on the main frame zip it right up one zipper two zipper zip 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 Pull all that stuff out of the way. Tuck those arms in. All those arms are removable if you really want to. Just unvelcro them and remove them. But I just like to leave everything on. Zips right on one side. Tuck the arms in. Find the zipper location. Let's see, how's that meet up? And I'm in a funny angle here. Whoop. There we go. So these guys meet up just like this. And it zips up. And you, the webbing attachments go on the outside. The compression apartments. Now you've got your whole pack together. Zipped up. The L frame. The main frame there. And transfer pack go together. And... That's what you get. So I got this system for my wife. Now it's open down here. So if you go out, you pack this out, you want to get some uh, some hunting done, you bag a deer or an elk or whatever you're, you're after, your targeted thing, there's not a lot of room when it's zipped up. So what you do is you just take the compression straps and attach them together. And then the meat... If you unzip it, you take a compression and a compression and they go into each other. They all fit together. Oops, that's the wrong piece. Two and there's a third right here. Three. Now what you've got is space in between when you take the compression straps and unzip it, you've got space in between to put uh, your meat. This is the system I've been using for the last two years of my bow hunting. And I actually use these extra compression straps, especially this middle one. Take this, compress this compression strap for the top here and close it down. This middle one. And I use that to hold my bow in place when I'm hiking in. So that's the system I've been running. But I would like to switch it up even lighter because I haven't been doing any overnight night hunting. Like I haven't gone for four days, five days. I just do day trip hunting for the last two years. So I want to lighten it up a little bit because this together, it said it was four pounds and four pounds. So this is an eight pound pack and you can go lighter with this system. This is, this is a, a good system. If you're going in for a longer period of time, a couple days or whatever, you can make it work off this and 
uh, I just necessarily don't necessarily need that. So there's different ways. So I'm going to show you what you can do here. We'll just unzip this pack here. Uh, unzip it. And then I'll unclip it. And it should come apart. Get the zipper out. It's Sorry for the people just listening. They got to hear me moan and groan and grunt. So we'll leave the frame here. And we will get rid of the transfer pack. Get that out of here. And what we're going to do is... Now I've got the duffel. Well, you remember the duffel zips onto the other pack. It will also zip onto this. This duffel is light, light, light. You know, it doesn't have much organization space, but if you stack it appropriately, you know, put your light, heavy stuff in and make things accessible, uh, you could take your day stuff out in this no problem. And you can zip this duffel right to this L frame, the main frame here. And it will be an ultra light day pack with good amount of storage. Because even though I zip it to this, if I ever got meat and bagged something and I needed to carry it out, you can do the same with the duffel as you do with the pack, transfer pack. You just make sure I'm on the right zipper here. You just use the compression straps in between the duffel and your meat and your meat sits in behind it and then you've got the same system but a much lighter pack very light system if you do it that way like this is pretty good you could even do a couple days like if you pack your duffel right you could do a couple day hunt off this system just this L frame and the duffel bag the mainframe and the duffel bag. You zip them together. I'm still working on it. People who are listening. I'm, I'm doing this in just at the table here. I don't I should have stood on the table, but I got my recording gear there. Okay, so people who are watching on the YouTube, you can see there's a duffel, there's space in between, it's got double handles, etc. Um you can open it. Now, if you need to get your gear, it's packed in here, right? You lay it on its back. You open the duffel, and then you have everything exposed. You grab it. You, the thing that you're limiting with this is separate pockets. There's no place for a bladder. There's no little carrier holders. Everything will have to go in the duffel. And then if you get meat, what you have to do is you have to have these extra connecting uh compression straps with uh, two male ends and they go into the female ends and so you unzip it and you use this to hold your gear and your meat in between but you could use this to carry your gear in for a campsite drop this you know and take this out minimally the only problem is is that there's no thing to hold water here so that's when you would get like a little extra bladder system that you can attach to the molly one extra thing to hold water and snacks uh at, for a day height and then you can have your binos attached to you know your body system instead of your the front strap system uh, just to uh, eliminate this is an ultra light system right there and it's what i've got i might run with this this year because it's uh uh, I'll, pretty easy to just drop this duffel in the truck or at a campsite and go on with your day. Now, there are a couple other things you can get if you want to do that a little different. Because this doesn't have pockets. What you can do, if you're going for real long hikes, you can get the J2DB or the J3DB zip-on dry bags this is something I'm going to look into getting to. And you know, for $69.95, it's a dry bag that will literally zip on to this system. And it, they can get, you can get the small one or the big one. That's 400 cubic inches in the dry bag. There is a bigger one, and I think it holds quite a bit more. I'm not exactly sure uh, how much more it holds. I don't have it on my phone. I should have looked it up. But there's a bigger bag. You can get these all different colors. So it's a dry bag. 
that sits right in the middle. It's got the roll up top and you put your gear in and then what you can add also. So you go the dry bag and then you will also go, uh, what are we looking for? Transfer pack, I believe stock, just one. The bat wings. So you can buy two pouch back bat wings, and then so you put the the dry bag there and a bat wing on each side. Then you get to your campsite, unload the dry bag, which you can also use the compression straps when you get meat. The dry bag on the one side. Anyways, you can uh, you can also get the bat wings and then they fold in and out so when you get there you drop the dry bag set up camp leave that there take your bat wings and a and put your bladder in one and your your scopes and gears and extra stuff in the other so there's uh there's lots of customizations but now i'm thinking so what i want to do is get the dry bag get a big one get the bigger one even though i've got the smaller frame i put the big the big dry bag on there and you could just fold it down to the size you needed and that way you're not uh you know, you do have more than enough room. That's what I like, more than enough room. So, and then I'm going to get the two bat wings. Or because if you're just doing a simple day trip out of your truck or whatever, day trip out of your truck, just get the two bat wings and put them side by side. And you can uh, get, oh, I've got all these bags stacked up here. If you get the two bat wings, that's a perfect system, super light. Let's see what these bat wings they say about them. They're, the bat wings are only thirty nine ninety five, so for two of them you're looking at at seventy to eighty bucks. And what do they say about the specs on these bad boys? Wraparound zipper for access. Internal hydration sleeve. So there is a hydration sleeve in the bat wings to add on so if you got the bat wings and you put it on the l-frame you've got your hydration and a super light system they also fold open so if you have the two bat wings just like when you were going to carry the duffel and if you get meat you just put the meat in between the two bat wings uh internal hydration system one of our wx2 liters or wxp3 liters so a three liter or a two liter external tuck pocket Webbing loops running down the back side that give you the option of hanging the bat wings on your Eberly Stock Pack gra grappling strap. Attachment zipper compatible with, these are what they're all compatible with, mainframe, carrier frame, just one. I have the just one so I could add the bat wings to that. Uh, Dragonfly, Sky Crane 2, Warhammer, those are all the different packs that you could attach to those to those bat, bat wings to them. So I've got the mainframe and I have just the just one. So I, th those are very compatible. Uh, product info, volume 615 cubic inches, weight 11 ounces, super light. If you got that L frame that I got and it's four and you add a little, you know, 22 more um, ounces to it and it's four pounds and then you'll have 22 ounces. So four pounds, that's that's a good system, like a light system for a day. I, you know, that you can't really go wrong with that, especially with the quality of the material you've got going on with this. Dimensions: twenty-one inches long, six inches wide, and five inches deep. See, this one has the D. The other guy didn't have the D, so I wasn't sure about it. There's nothing but great, uh, great reviews. I love the Eberly stock brand. I love it. I haven't used it lots, but I've had my just one pack for five years, five, six years now. And, and I, uh, I tell everybody, I show it to everybody. I show it off. I, I'm doing this video because of that pack. Really? I got my wife an Eberly stock pack that I use. I got it for my wife for me. Uh, and you know, I'll tell you the, uh, the story, the store made a mistake when they sold it to us. Uh, they sold us the, the, the pack and the and the frame they sold it to us as one unit but they were supposed to be two units and i asked and asked and asked over and over i said i think these are two units and, and oh no it's it's just one and then you know i bought it and we get home and of course we find the second price tag tugged in and i called and they just said that's 
what it is. I didn't live in the town, so there wasn't much anybody could do about it. It was a mistake made. I I thought that it was a mistake, and I kept. It. I asked three different people, including a manager, and, and they were quite confident it was one system. But it, it isn't. the The frame and the extra and the other packs, those are two different things. So it's two separate purchases. So keep that in mind, unless you get lucky like me and they sell it to you as one purchase. So I pretty much got two packs in the price of one. Uh, so these packs, they're not li like, they're not the lightest packs. Like I said, and they're not the heaviest. I'm super happy. They're super durable. I'm going to pick up, you can buy just the back straps, uh, the waist belts, and I'm going to attach it to the, the, the bag here so that this bag, even though it doesn't have a solid frame, if I add the smaller belt loop here, you know, it could be a pretty decent day back all on its own. I love all these packs. And here's my thing is that I really like bags. I like bags a lot. I love backpacks. So I could get addicted to buying purchases. And when they start having interchangeable parts and pieces, man, where do you stop? Even if you you have, like, I'm th technically three bags set up deep here with, uh, with everything I got. I'm talking about buying more setups because... It's just so good. So there's lots you can do. I think about the future of camping. I hike into Sombrio Beach all the time, Mystic Beach, to go camping down on the ocean. If I had the waterproof duffel on the L frame with the two bat wings, I could pack in most of my gear one trip. And, you know, my wife maybe has the just one pack or has this pack on right here, the, the smaller pack. And, and we can hike in with our stuff. And then, you know, in the future when my kids get packs, they can carry them in when they're old enough. So we could, you know, me and my wife could pack in down to Mystic from the parking lot. I'd say it's 45 minutes for two adults to hike in. So with the pack system, we could make one trip. We first went there when we were first or first dating. When we first started dating, we went down and camped at Mystic and... I remember I, I hiked two trips in and I was determined to hike two trips out, but I didn't have a very good pack system. I just had the just one pack, but I was packing out gear for two people. And it was my wife was getting embarrassed because I was trying to lug all this stuff. And I was being a silly boy, but uh, whatever that, you know, she got embarrassed. We ended up stashing some of the stuff in the bushes and then coming back for it. So I just embarrassed myself, really, because I couldn't do it. But if I got the 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 dry bag and attached it to the the L frame with two bat wings, and then she packed a bag down like this with used the just one bag, then uh, we could get all our gear down in one trip and out in one trip. There's nothing better than that. Being able to carry all your gear in and out in one, and uh, and still being able to drop and and change the way the pack is to use it for different situations. Like if I wanted to go for a day hike, I didn't have to take the whole pack with me. I can leave, I can leave the big compartments at camp and take the day pack. <coughs> I'm talking lots here. All right, guys, I'm about to wrap that up. That's kind of my overlook for the Eberly stock packs that I have. What I am gonna go if I don't get the bat wings and the. Uh, the dry bag in the next month or so here that I am going to run with the the smaller pack, the main pack here with the L-frame system or I'm going to use the L-frame system with the duffel, whichever I, I choose to do. I think I actually have the, in this pack here, before we go, I have one of the rain jackets here that you can buy. Yeah, and it comes in a compression bag. That uh, duffel too can also go into a compression bag, this mesh compression bag. You can fold it up this size, uh, pretty small packet right in. So here's the, uh, it's a digital camo green and, gr and browns, and that fits over pretty much all the packs that I have right now. There's plenty of uh, pack into this one. I think this is the larger side. My my brother got this with with the just one pack, and I use it for all of them. So this that's awesome. Like the the setup I've got here is 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 perfect for any scenario, and also I can still add to it. It only gets better with this system, so I'm real happy with Everly Stock, and I would give them a uh, a five star rating, and 
and you are honestly the durability of these packs like i take them through the thick vancouver island bush and they're in like pretty good mint condition no rips tears and they've never snagged or or hindered me in any way and i've never ever felt let down or unconfident i feel more confident with this stuff in with this back this bag with me if i had a lesser bag i'd real be concerned really be concerned about uh it falling apart now i did on the l frame here on the bottom part i did get a scuff there on the on the the plastic leather like material fabric there um not quite sure it's like a rubbery material but it kind of scraped a little bit but i that's you know that's two three years use use of day hunting and when i do day hunting i get i get a lot of time to put into it and i would also you know i'm thinking long term so later on down the road i will get enough time and holidays from work to do you know five ten day elk hunts on the mainland which is you know my goal is to reach that point where i can do that so I would really like to have a, a perfect system for that. So and I think that's the L frame with the dry bag and two bat wings. I think that's the, the perfect system for long, long hikes. For short hikes, I'm going to go with the duffel or the, the, this smaller pack and, uh, or just the two bat wings. I, I have to make that determine when I get the bat wings and see, but one of those three units, these are all real light. The, 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 the duffel bag on the L frame is the lightest system. Four pounds, 11 ounces, I believe, or two ounces, whatever I said earlier about the duffel bag and its weight, with a lot of holding capacity. So that might be the one I pick just because it's such a light unit. And, uh, you know, we, we, we pick a location here in Vancouver Island, you find the logging road, whatever the access point you're driving, you park your truck and you hike into the location or you've scouted the location and you, you hike in. Uh, but if it's just for the day, you might leave your pack in the truck. You might have three or four locations. Some are close, some are far, or you might be out there all morning, leave, get there when it's still dark, hike in a couple three hours two three hours into your location and then you're hanging out there all day so you take your pack with you and you want it to be like because the slopes here are steep and they're overgrown with ferns and foliage and the undergrowth is so thick and dense if you've ever been on vancouver island and it's wet so you want the right gear and eberly stock like I cannot talk about, I cannot talk them up enough. Now, that being said, I haven't used some other packs from some other companies. I'd love to to know. My buddy or my brother-in-law, he has a Kafu pack and he used to have the Eberly, uh, the Eberly stock L-frame system and he moved to a Kuru and he loves that pack. And I would love to get his insight on that and really experience what that's all about, but I don't have that experience. Anyways, guys, I'm going to head out of here. Thanks. Thanks for uh, checking in on the podcast, and we will uh, we'll see you next time. Toodles.